All right, we're gonna catch you guys up on something that I don't know if you guys have been really uh, following it, but I have because I was a big fan of this guy and it's pretty sad. No. Uh, Cody Cope. Yeah. <gasps> what happened? Oh, he had those reviews, right? Like he would just react to the videos that he would watch. Yeah, a lot, yeah, 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 yeah a long But time before ago. that, what was he doing? Like vlogging and stuff? Like he did something before the reviews. I think yeah, he's yeah. done a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's done a lot of stuff. But he's been on YouTube for a minute. A long time, yeah. Who is Cody Co? Yeah. He's the white dude that, that that looks like a surfer and he's always doing reviews on like <laughs> he's based on the oldest thing he's done. <laughs> I've never watched any of his stuff. Anyway, good. He's Tiny Me Gang, you know, with Noel Miller, they got like a, a pretty big podcast. They got big. Okay, well. Yeah, I don't know. I don't he, I, I've followed him for a long time. He's great, mm -hmm. but not anymore. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, he doesn't do the reviews no more. No, I said that's why he's not. He doesn't I think that, oh. He stopped reviewing. No, he, I think they still. No, they don't really do it as much. <laughs> yeah, no. What that's happened? Why. They do bigger things than that now. <laughs> oh, wait, they don't do the reviews no more. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like his reacts. Me too. Yeah, me too, yeah, mm. yeah. Everybody loved those. Yeah, for sure. But the, um, something big happened where. Uh, do you, do I have to explain Tana Mojo? Do you guys know who that is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had, she had TanaCon. Remember TanaCon? It fucking got so, it was so bad. I think you she, do need to explain what this yeah. is. <laughs> I like that all your references are so old. <laughs> <laughs> so Tana Mojo, obviously like, he's been on YouTube a long time. She's now is has like a top 10 podcast. It's uh, like one of the biggest. Oh, really? Yeah. So uh, she started talking about this actually in 2021, but it wasn't until like, kind of uh, recently that someone did the math on it and figured this out, but uh, she was asked during one of her podcasts like about sexual experiences, like what, who's, who has the smallest dick out of all the guys you hooked up with? And she said, Cody Ko. Oh and then uh, this, this other creator, D'Angelo Wallace, made this awesome, awesome uh, video. video where he detailed and zoned in really close to the fact that Hey, Cody Ko is 25 at the time, and you were 17. Oh. And then, um, oh. and then, it, he even cited an old video where Gabby, Gabby Hanna was telling a story about how she was warning her friend, "Hey, this girl you're making out with is underage," and later he hooked up with her anyway. Oh. Uh, then they connected those things together, and uh, and yeah, and Tana wasn't secretly like she wasn't trying to hide the fact that she was 17 and he was 25. She eventually was like just openly saying that. And then um, she had later clarified that, yeah, Gabby was talking about Cody Ko and myself. Yeah. So then uh, Cody Ko, since that came out, has been dead silent. Oh my God. The only thing is that uh, <laughs> statement <laughs> through Tiny Meat Gang, like if you were on the mailing <laughs> list, you got a email that was basically issuing a statement, but it was behind a paywall. Uh -huh. So if you got through that, then the, the statement is so bad. It's really just saying that uh, from now on, Cody Co is not going to be involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the TMG. Oh, and, uh, wait, is that a crew? It's just I him and Noel company. Miller. Oh, you know, in those old videos where they react things, there was always another guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's Noel yeah, Miller. Okay, so right. together they started this empire that was oh, like, oh, that's sick. Dang. Really, really cool. Yeah, but now that's not going to be a thing. Damn, uh, how can you recover from that? I don't know, and that's the interesting thing is there like it's gone under analysis by like many different people. So people are canceling him because his dick is so small, huh? <laughs> no. What? They're, they're just like, dude, that, that Tana, happened. You fucked a lot of guys, and the smallest yeah, dick that you fucked was Cody Co. And then everyone was like, fuck, little dick Cody. I think Damn. what really blew this situation up isn't even so much the fact that she was underage. It's the fact that because so many people hate her. They were refusing to like take her side in the matter, oh, or they were so like scrutinizing her. Was, right. was she assaulted too? Not, I don't know about assaulted. Or did they have like a relationship? Like it was like they hooked up, right? That they hooked up, up, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but but like it wasn't anything like bad. The like fact where that because people don't like her, they're like, oh yeah, right. But oh, like that's where it's like, oh, damn, that's kind of dude, that's up. fucked. Yeah. People don't like her, but she has a top ten podcast. Everyone yeah. with a top ten something people don't like in some way. Yeah. Oh, like you're, you're you're we're talking about not her supporters. No, like people that hate watch her too. Oh, like, oh yeah. Even people that watch her, just like they just people that watch it. us will tell shit like that. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's, that's like, true. It's fandom. Yeah. But uh, I think that's what made it 
I think a divisive issue and brought more eyes to it is people are like, oh, why is it so different when a woman is saying this because it's someone that you don't like? Mm-hmm. Or that oh, someone yeah. you think is a hoe or whatever, like it's yeah, yeah. it changes the entire like value. Like, right, the moral. Yeah, 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 which is where like morally it got zoned in on and and now it now it's just about like damn Cody, like you're kinda done, bro. Like Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. And then they kinda analyze more of his uh content where they're like, You had like a best friend in your content that was uh convicted convicted or, of like or char i don't or know charge they, i don't think he was fully convicted yeah right? no i don't know i think it like got dialed back or the girl got scared or something okay but it but, was a um, charge she had a best friend that like a, a allegedly had like drugged a girl and like Ooh. yeah and that's did the bad. cosby what kind of drugs that's my i don't know but it was like a frat house type thing oh my i don't get guys that do that that's kind of like I, my game is so whack that I need to fuck a sleepy girl. Yeah. I think you totally get it then. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Or, I mean, I, mean, I, I, I don't know, I don't know what they tell themselves to be like, oh, fuck yeah, I'm gonna do this. No, I think some guys prefer it that Psychopaths. way. Psychopaths. I don't think oh. it's a, I don't have game, I think that's the game. I think they want to do it that way. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, that's, that's, so that's what gets them off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ew. Well, for me, I'm like, I need enthusiasm and I, I need to be wanted. Because <laughs> yeah, I, I don't yeah. want a sleepy girl that like don't you want, want a me. Connection. You're definitely, I think guys like that are the minority for yeah. sure. That's like that's like a, a homeless man sleeping in and I go, I'm gonna fuck that shit. Like, I <laughs> think that's the same thing. <laughs> a homeless <laughs> man? Thing. Yeah. A homeless yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, you know? It's like, let me move the cardboard box and get fucking freaky. Like, <laughs> to me, it's the same thing as a drugged up party girl because yeah. she's not looking her best it's she probably got body. mascara all fucked yeah. up probably one shoe on it's smelling fucking, like fucking totally different but both slightly bad i think what you're describing <laughs> is that guy's fucking favorite thing you know what i mean uh, like that guy like, like a kink i think yeah, it's, it's a it's demented kink. mind yeah. you yeah. know it's like it, even it could be a girl that would have willfully had sex with you i think some guys just want it that way i think that those kind of guys when a girl's like let me suck your dick he's like Ew. Gross! I'd rather fuck a sleepy homeless man. <laughs> That's probably what he that said. A Huge demo crazy for that. Moment like that. What do you mean? You got drugged? No, no. Uh, we were we were we were drunk in the house, and this girl, she was, you know, we gave her the bed to sleep on, and I was like, I'm gonna sleep on the floor, and she's like, you should join me instead, and I was like, for sure. So I pulled up to the bed. We we're, you know, we're doing our thing, and then next thing you know, I'm I'm ready to do it. I noticed she's like sl- passed out. And then you pass out? I uh, know. I was just like, yo, what the. And then the kink was born. Uh, no, no. I rolled her over, put a blanket over, and I was like, oh, we, I can't do this shit. Dude, Just in case, I was scared. I was, but also, she's that's not going to do anything. That might either. not even be enough right. in some cases. That's scary, isn't it? No, it was scary. So, but I was like, oh, well, hell no. I put a blanket over, and I just passed out on the ground again. We woke up, yeah. and she was just like, oh. You want to know a funny thing that we did during Quest Days to ensure that didn't happen? We, there was this girl that was hanging with us after one of our shows and she was so hammered we could tell she was going to pass out. So rather than have her pass out in our hotel room where we're just hanging out not doing nothing yeah. and her wake up thinking something happened. Right. You, pop, you we, dropped her off in the hallway? We, 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 took, we took her with us. We went to go hang out in the gym where there's cameras and we when she knocked out we just left. At the gym? Yeah. We left her the, mm-hmm. Because so that way... It was like recording. Yeah, and that way there's like... We, well, she was a bodybuilder that was like, ooh, sleepy girl. Oh, shit. But then there's cameras. Yeah, yeah, there's cameras. Oh, yeah. You're not gonna let a girl pass out drunk in your hotel room. Mm-hmm. That's dangerous. You could think anything happened. That's yeah, dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a bad move. You gotta go somewhere where there's like surveillance, yeah. a lobby, hang out in the, you know, like yeah. one of the commons, that and then just, easy. and then just bounce. And just be like, done. Yeah. Yeah. My, my friend, he um, told me this no. story that he got sexually assaulted while <gasps> sleeping. How does at he a party. know? They were drunk, he fell asleep. He woke up and there was a very large lady riding him. (laughs) Riding? Riding on top of him. Oh my God. And then he said that like, a part of him was like, stop. But then the other part was like, it feels so fucking good right now. That's so bad. And then he said that, he said that (laughs) she helped him relieve himself on her big boobies. Uh And then he went right back to sleep. And then he said, I was so ashamed, but it felt so good. That was so nice. And then he went back to sleep. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Dude, I, I, but, later, I had a... but later he told us this story and we were like, I'm so confused. Like, <laughs> so did you like so it or not? <laughs> was that assault really? He goes, I didn't want it. I really didn't want it. I'm so embarrassed. But he goes, I really want it. 
want it again. And then I think he called her up and did it again. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Dude, I've, I've had old dance team stories <laughs> where it's like uh, everybody's partying at a house party after some event, everybody's yeah. super drunk. And then next thing you know, especially because I was, I might have been on like the cabinet or whatever, like the uh, the director board. Like next thing you know, we're doing damage control because, you know, when somebody was sleeping, they woke up and then they they swear that another team member is like doing something to them. Oh, but then shit. the crazy part is that other team member apparently wasn't like gay. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like a straight male that you oh, thought was straight oh. doing that to another dude. And then, you, and then you have to fucking try to figure out how to confront this person, and you're like young, oh, right? Okay. You're like you're like in college and stuff like that, so you yeah, don't really know. Gay. How, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's gay. But then they're denying <laughs> it, Holy shit. and then it turns into like a really really yeah, crazy know, dynamic. Really yeah, we've had shit like that, yeah, and we've also had it with clearly gay people too. And that's like yeah. that's when you're like, whoa. See, I don't hang around with so many gays like you do, so I never had that problem. <laughs> but yeah, you don't have the privilege. <laughs> you just hang out with sex offenders. <laughs> What do you guys think, man? Like, Cody Ko having sex with Tata when she was 17, is this like a, you should be done, pull the plug? Oh, well, I don't know if it's like supposed to be career ending for something that they did in the past where they were 17? okay with. Were they okay with that, though, right, back again, then? She, okay, so here's the thing, because she's 17, early time, but early, she's okay with it, but when she grew up, she looks back and goes, I shouldn't have been okay with this. Oh, yeah. But then does that mean does that mean this guy shouldn't have a job because now she's not okay with it? Like is that does the the punishment matter? Yeah, because what he did doesn't change no matter how much time passes or Especially like, when you know. Like the other defining factor is that Gabby Hanna told him verbatim, hey, the person that you are currently kissing is yeah. underage and he went with hey, that she information. Warned him, yeah. He warned him. That's messed up. Like, yeah, so okay. like let's say he did do something wrong. Does that mean he should stop working? I don't know. I, well, I, honestly, I, think, I think we we have to think about the law of of like statutory or whatever, right? Because like in some countries it's 16, in some countries it's 15, some countries like in the US it's 18. Mm -hmm. But there's a there's a grace period. I think if you're 17 but the person you're with is like like under 18 months or something, so like they could be 18 or 19, yeah. it's not considered that. Mm -hmm. I'm also like okay, depending on the on the on the woman, is she old enough to understand or mature enough at that age to make the decision? Because like that's really taking away the responsibility from a 17 year old of like, or that person that like, hey, you also made a mistake or made, you know like, you know what I'm saying? But it's that's like, the whole point of the rule yeah, in our right. society right. though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause, Cause like, know. yeah, you don't know. So there's there's just a rule for so a number that makes you, sense. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it funny that when you, person, dude, yeah. Isn't it funny that when you turn 18, you now you magically have to know everything. Yeah, like, and then most people aren't. Yeah, that's to be honest, crazy like thing. some people, they still make mistakes at 30 yeah, that's that a, are that's stupid as fuck. It's meant to protect stupid. people yeah. under 18 from yeah. people that know the law. And yeah. also, again, this is similar to that other video. It's like if you are a public figure, then you need to understand that like you have public influence over people. If you make the wrong choices, yeah. then you're influencing more people with your wrong choices. Therefore, yeah. your punishment yeah. needs okay, to be. Yeah. Also, it go. should be noted that like at the time, like when Tana tells a story, she tells it like. At the time, I wasn't really like anybody. I was, I loved, I was a fan of this dude. I was, I liked the attention. Mm -hmm. So it has all the components of like, mm -hmm. okay, oh, fuck, yeah, that yeah. sucks. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, it is yeah. not a good thing. Yeah. But in, in to respond to you about like, should he stop working? I say everybody's welcome to give it a shot. I don't think it'll go well. He's not stopping right. working. You're, you're yeah. saying you're saying that he stepped down from like being a more public position in his company. Yeah. So he still has the company. And he kind of okay. doesn't have a good. Make money. Yeah. He kind of yeah. doesn't have a good move here. You know what's yeah. weird though? If he if he beat the crap out of Tana, he probably still have a career. But because they had a sexy times. Canceled. But then his brand is not, he's not a bad boy brand like Chris Brown. Yeah, that's right. Like Chris Brown purposely wanted to shift his image so, so that. <laughs> I'm gonna beat some girls. Yeah, up. exactly. And like people are still flocking to his concerts. But oh like Cody Ko's meant to be, he, he has like, he's married, isn't he? Yeah, he's married and yeah. has a baby. So he's, his brand is cleaner. He's like, but oh. I mean, his comedy is like still like, not, it's not like the cleanest, but. He's not, this definitely sullies it. You know, yeah, like it yeah, does. Yeah. It makes people not like you. And I yeah. think in that case, it's probably better to try building something else. I think it's fucked up that people go to his wife's page. Oh, Ooh. what? Yeah. So what would you guys do to, to turn this around? Cause I just double down. 
I'd be like, you don't remember being 25 and horny? Well, fucking, you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That'll go well.